Hi, my name is Izzy, and welcome to Cake.com. If you've been searching for a simple clock-in and clock-out system for your employees, you are just in the right place. I'll show you how to track employee working hours, daily attendance, and break time through a simple app, Clockify. So, let's dive in. I'm guessing your employees often move from one site to another, or you have employees working in multiple locations. So logically, you want to have all their work-related data recorded in one place, where you can also track who's working on what, for how long, and so on. Clockify allows you to do all that with its kiosk feature and a mobile app. A kiosk allows you to open it on any device with internet access from which each employee can track their work hours and break time with a simple press of a button. You can then access that data from the Clockify web app and see who clocked how many hours. The other helpful thing for your employees switching from one location to another is to simply install the Clockify mobile app and let them track their work and break time with a timer. So, if you need multiple employees to track time at one location, use a kiosk. Or, if you need multiple employees to track time on multiple locations, use the mobile app. But first, you'll need to create an account. If you don't have an account, you'd first need to create one, and you can do that from Clockify's homepage. Just type in your email address and a password, or log in with Google. If you do have an account, simply log in, and head right to the workspace settings to enable kiosk. You can also activate project switching if you wish to allow people to choose what they're working on when they clock in. You can also enable breaks for a kiosk, so users will be able to mark the time they spent on a break, not just on their work duties. If you enable this, you need to also select a default project for tracking projects. So make sure you have one designated project named breaks or similar for this purpose. You do that in the same way you create any project in Clockify. In case you don't have projects in your company, you can change the term to something else here, like department or job. While we're in the workspace settings, we can add our company logo to be displayed when we launch our kiosk. Click on upload image and add your company logo. You can always change this photo later. So let's dive into how to prepare everything we need to track time via kiosk. So to do that, We'll need one default project for tracking work hours and one project for tracking breaks. Projects will help us categorize time so we can later analyze it when we run reports. Let's go to the Projects tab and click on the Create New Project button. We can name a default project for a kiosk the same way we will name our kiosk. So, for example, Main Warehouse will do. Give it a color, and if you want, choose a client. For example, you can put in Warehouse Operations as a client, but it's not necessary we can create a project without a client. Now, let's create another project for tracking breaks. And that's it. We have our projects for the kiosk all ready to use. But before we actually create a kiosk, we need to make sure all our team members are in the Clockify workspace. If you go to the team page, you will see there are two types of users, full, and limited. A limited user can only use Clockify via a kiosk, while a full user can track time personally on their phone or computer using a timer or a timesheet. They can request time off, record expenses, and so on. And of course, the pricing for full and limited users is different. Let's add a few limited users to track time on our new kiosk. We click here, enter the person's name, and then add. If you maybe need more information on employees, you can go back to the workspace settings and create custom user fields. For example, we can add a custom user field to record employee ID numbers. Click create, type in a name for this custom field, employee ID. Select the number from multiple options we have here. Click create once again and drag and drop this field to the active column so it becomes visible. Now, when you go back to the Teams page and open any user profile, this custom field will be visible so you can enter the data and have complete user information in one place. And that's it! 
we have everything prepared to create our first kiosk. Once you've enabled the kiosk, it'll be visible in your sidebar. Go right there and click Create Kiosk. Now, you'll type in the kiosk's name, assign the people who will be clocking in on it, and give it a default project to categorize time tracked via kiosk. A kiosk is, by default, set as active for 24 hours, but you can change the session duration here to match the specific work hours your team clocks in on on different sites. Now you can set your kiosk to require personal PIN code for each employee. You will also get a universal PIN code in case you as a manager want to clock in or out for someone else. Once you create the kiosk, it appears here. And here, you can export everyone's PIN codes. Launching a kiosk can be done on any device, like a tablet or phone, by simply opening the link in a web browser. In the Permissions tab in the Workspace settings, you can allow anyone to open the kiosk without logging in by just launching the kiosk. Or, alternatively, you can allow project and team managers to log into the kiosk. This is especially useful if the admin is not personally at the location of the kiosk. For now, let's launch the kiosk on our desktop and see how to track time via kiosk. Click Launch and there it is! When a kiosk is launched on a browser, you'll be able to search for your name from the team list here. Type in your personal PIN and clock in for the day. When clocking in, you can also choose what you're working on. Or, if you're already clocked in, you can switch tasks here and choose what you'll be working on next. If you, in any case, forget your PIN code, you can click on the Forgot Your PIN and an admin will receive a reset password so you'll be able to log in. The same goes for clocking out or starting your break. Every time users want to record a different action, for example, starting a break after they've been clocked in, they'll need to type in their personal PIN code again. When you finish your break, your work time will automatically begin again. As you change your status from clocked in to break time, the dot next to your name will change colors, showing green for when you're clocked in or orange for when you're on break. To clock out, once again select your name from the list, type in your PIN, and click Clock Out. Now, you'll be able to see your track data from Kiosk here in the Reports section on Clockify Web. The first one you see is the Summary Report showing you a summary of tracked time for a certain time period, which you can change up here. In any report, you can filter out the data by user, by project, a kiosk, or any category you see here in the filter row. In the detailed report, you can see all the detailed information on each clock-in or recorded break time, and also add or edit time for others. By just clicking on the Add Time for Others button, you will see a time entry-like field and you can then record time for any user or a project. And if you want to edit any information, turn on the filters to display the entries you want to check and correct the information, for example, break length to be exactly 30 minutes. In the weekly report, you'll get an overview of weekly activities by the project for any user you need. You can expand the listed projects to see the users who tracked time for that project and get more details for each day of the week at just a glance. And lastly, the attendance report, where you can see the exact time when a user clocked in, clocked out, the amount of time they spent on a break, time spent working, and their overtime as well as the time off, if they have any for that particular day. These overtime hours are calculated based on the daily working capacity you've set on the team page for every employee and the time they've recorded to be working. You can also notice that the filters for the attendance report have changed, so you can display entries for any user who clocked in or clocked before or after the shifts start. Or, for example, filter out entries with longer or shorter breaks or work time than required. So, reports give you quite an insight into your processes and you can, of course, export your reports as PDF, Excel, or CSV. So that's it for using Kiosk and tracking down its data in the reports. If you need a way for your team to track hours while they're moving from one place to another, 
check out our Clockify mobile app for Android or iOS. It's available for download in the Play Store and the App Store. Now for your team to use a time tracker on a mobile app, make sure you include them as full Clockify users. Limited users are basically only kiosk users, but if you need those same people to track time via mobile, you need to convert them to full users. In that way, they will also be able to, for example, request time off, and record any expenses they might have via mobile, so everything they need they can perform via the app. To convert a limited user to a full user, click on the three dots next to the person's name, click on Edit Profile, and choose the option to add their email address. You will see a pop-up that will notify you about what this change is going to do. So now you'll have to add another full seat to your plan, and now you can type in this user's email address, and they will be able to track time via mobile. Now they'll be able to also switch between different projects, so it's easier to allocate them to different projects when needed. You can repeat this whole process for as many kiosks as you need. And if you don't need one of the kiosks any longer, you can always deactivate it by going to the Kiosks tab and clicking on the three dots next to the kiosk name and clicking Deactivate. You will receive an alert letting you know that users won't be able to track time on that kiosk anymore, making sure that you really want to perform this action. And if you're sure, click Deactivate and then this kiosk will no longer be available for users to track time but all the time entries associated with that kiosk will still be visible in the report section. To reactivate the kiosk, go back to the kiosks page, click on the three dots, and then click activate. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this webinar and that it helped you learn more about Clockify and its clock-in system. Whichever time tracking method or device you choose to track your work and break time on, stay assured that everything will be synced on Clockify web from where you can further manage your company data. To learn more about Clockify, be sure to check out our other videos or consult our blog where we have more resources for you to check out. Thanks for watching.